Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be dealing with a polynomial equation. We have x squared minus 4x plus 1 equals 0. And we're going to evaluate x cubed plus 1 over x cubed. So we're going to find a numerical value for x cubed plus 1 over x cubed. I'll be presenting three methods. Let's start with the first one. So for my first method, I'm going to start off with the original equation and solve it using the quadratic formula. You could also use completing the square. This is not factorable, so those are the only available methods. So let's go ahead and solve it using the quadratic formula. Negative b plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 16, minus 4ac, which is minus 4, square root of 12. And that's divided by 2a. Square root of 12 can be written as 2 times the square root of 3. And if you divide everything by 2, you get 2 plus minus square root of 3. So this is a quadratic equation, and there are two roots, 2 plus root 3 and 2 minus root 3. Those are the possible x values. Now we're going to evaluate x cubed plus 1 over x cubed. So which one are we going to use? And the answer is it doesn't matter. Let's use x equals 2 plus root 3 for this. So I'm going to go ahead and do the following. I'm going to cube both sides. Let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and cube this and cube that. 2 plus root 3 when cubed is going to give you, you know, a plus b. If you cube a plus b, uh, you get an expression like a cubed plus b cubed plus 3ab times a plus b. So we can basically write this as 26 plus 15 root 3 after simplifications. Okay? Great. So what about 1 over x cubed? Since we're going to add those, 1 over x cubed is just going to be the reciprocal of this. And then we can now rationalize the denominator. Let's go ahead and do it now. Multiply by 26 minus 15 root 3 and divide by that. So it's equivalent to multiplying by 1, which doesn't change the value. And the top becomes 26 minus 15 root 3. What about the bottom? The bottom is the most important part. From difference of 2 squares, this becomes 26 squared minus 15 squared times 3. Okay, I wrote a cube, but that's a square. Now, 20, 15 squared is 225 times 3, and 26 squared is 676. So it's like 76, 676 minus 675. So in other words, this is going to be 1, which means the answer is 26 minus 15 root 3. So that's our 1 over x cubed, and x cubed is 26 plus 15 root 3. So I'm going to go ahead and erase this part to make it less confusing. All right, now, what do we have? We have these two things. We're going to go ahead and add them. So x cubed plus 1 over x cubed is just going to be the sum of these two expressions. 26 plus 15 root 3 plus 26 minus 15 root 3. And why don't we actually put it here? It's probably better that way. Let's go ahead and move it over here. All right. So this is our sum. 15 root 3 cancels out. And we end up with 26 plus 26, which is equal to 52. So we got 52 by adding these two expressions. And that will be the answer. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. So our second method, again, I'm going to write the original equation. Actually, you know what? I kind of changed my mind, and I want to do the third method next because second method is going to be the most fun, so I'm going to save it for last. Okay, great. So here's the third method. Our original equation says x squared minus 4x plus 1 equals 0. From here, I would like to uh, isolate x squared. Let's do it. x squared can be written as 4x minus 1. And then I just want to evaluate x cubed by using this. x cubed is just going to be x squared times x. But x squared can be re replaced with 4x minus 1. Multiply by x. That gives you 4x squared minus x, which is x cubed. And eventually, you can replace x squared with 4x minus 1 again from here. And minus x. So x cubed becomes 16x minus x, which is 15x minus 4. So we can basically get a linear expression for each power. We got it for second, we got it for third, and we can continue doing that. And uh, now, 
we do need or I do need x cubed plus 1 over x cubed, right? That's what I need. So I can replace x cubed with that, but let's go ahead and make a common denominator first. So that's going to give me x to the 6th power plus 1 divided by x to the 3rd by making a common denominator. Now x cubed squared is basically x to the 6th power. So I can write this as x to the 6th as 15 by x minus 4 squared, which is from here, plus 1, and that is divided by x cubed, which can be replaced by 15x minus 4. Make sense? So we're going to go ahead and square this. This is going to give me 225x squared minus 120x to AB plus 16 plus 1 plus 17. That is divided by 15x minus 4. Now x squared again can be replaced with 4x minus 1. So that's 225 times 4x minus 1 minus 120x plus 17 divided by 15x minus 4. Now if you go ahead and distribute, you're going to get 900x minus 225 minus 120x plus 17 divided by 15x minus 4. And finally, this is going to give us almost finally 780x minus 208 divided by 15x minus 4. And luckily, our numerator is 52 times 15x minus 4 because if you factor out a common factor, that is going to be 52 and 15x minus 4 cancels out. x does not equal 4 fifteenths and the answer becomes 52. And that will be our third method. So we're going to go ahead and talk about the second method next. All right. So for my second method, one more time, I'm going to rewrite the original equation and I'm supposed to evaluate x cubed plus 1 over x cubed, right? Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look. I want to isolate this time the 4x and then divide both sides by x. Obviously, x does not equal 0. We know that, right? This gives me x plus 1 over x equals 4. Isn't that awesome? Now, we know this and our goal is to find the sum of cubes. So we're just going to go ahead and cube this expression. If we cube it, we're going to get 64. And if you expand it, right, you're going to get the following. a cubed plus b cubed plus 3ab times a plus b. That's the formula I use usually for sum of cubes or cube of a sum, sorry, equals 64. These two cancel out, leaving us with this equals, and by the way, this is 4. 3 times 4 is 12, so x cubed plus 1 over x cubed plus 12 equals 64. And finally, yay, x cubed plus 1 over x cubed becomes 52 as before. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.